Hey, what is up everyone? In this video, we're talking about the weirdest cosmetic set in Sea of Thieves. So there are a lot of interesting cosmetics in Sea of Thieves, but to me, one of the most interesting and the weirdest set has to be the Obsidian set. This set is known by several names. Most of you know it as the Obsidian set, but you also might hear things like the Onyx set, the Black Dog set, the Ebon set, or the Midnight set. All of these refer to the same thing. So the Obsidian set is probably one of, if not the most beloved sets in the game, with it having some of the rarest cosmetics. Recently this came up in conversation again when one of these rare cosmetics were given out for free as part of Xbox Game Pass. This cosmetic was the Obsidian Banjo, and before it was released for free it cost upwards of 800 bucks on sites like eBay. So it's clear why some people were really upset when they spent 800 bucks on something they could have gotten for the price of a month of Game Pass. So with this, it got me thinking more about the Obsidian set and just how weird it is. We have, say, the clothing items, which you could only get with a code for pre-ordering the game. And then after launch, the only way you could get this code is from third parties like eBay. Then there were codes for other items in the Obsidian set, like the banjo we mentioned earlier, which originally could be found by buying a special shirt. But then, in the same set of exclusive items, we have other things that were basically free through Twitch drops, like the ship set. It's crazy to me that within the same set of items that we could have something that's completely free or cost more than 800 bucks. Oftentimes these cosmetics started out as exclusive codes but then eventually were made free via Twitch drops or now with Game Pass perks. One of the first times I personally remember this happening is with the Onyx 4 pack which was earned from buying Chips Ahoy cookies that were sold when the game first launched. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed at the time when these exclusive cosmetics that I had were now free for anyone to grab just by watching a Twitch stream or something. I think eventually though we'll see all of these once exclusive cosmetics end up being free via Twitch drops or some other means. Probably one of the rarest in this set is the Midnight Blunderbuss which was first released bundled with an Xbox game drive. Later on it became available one more time at a meet and greet stand during TwitchCon. Something tells me this may be one of the next big exclusives to become free as part of Game Pass perks. The Obsidian set to me is a great looking set. I have loved it since day one, and I'm very happy with the items I have been able to acquire up to now. But it's interesting to me that this set has some of the most expensive and rarest cosmetics, while also having some of the cheapest and most easily earned cosmetics in the game. But that's everything you need to know about the weirdest cosmetic set in Sea of Thieves. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts on the Obsidian set in the comments below, but if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you'd like and subscribe. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.